Dupilumine persisting asthma with elevated eosinophil levels. Definition Previous studies have suggested that Th2 cytokine interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 have a role in asthma. Data from a study of dupilumab support the pathogenic role in patients with persistent moderate to severe asthma and elevate eosinophil levels. The FICAF of dupilumab was observed in patients treatment with medium dose to high dose inhaled glucocorticoids and combination with labs and finding that suggests that in patients with residual airway inflammation interleukin 4 and interleukin 13 are present in and contribute to disease despite glucocorticoid therapy. With you. we've known for a while that not all asthma appears to be this, uh, but it's not until recently that we've actually had objective criteria for defining the groups. One of the areas where we found a lot of new information is around the Th2 cytokine pathway. Um, certainly in asthma we know that these, uh, these cytokines are actually upregulated, but only in a percentage of the population, probably 50% or so of the asthma population has this upregulated. Pathway. And with that upregulated pathway, we see an association with blood eosinophils, a cell type that is very common uh, in, in all people, but increased in, in patients with asthma. And we find that increases in these blood eosinophils, measured very simply on a complete blood count, actually track very well with the levels of these type 2 cytokines uh, in the airways, in the blood, etc. Yeah. So, Bantino. Applications in medicine. Dupilumab, a fully human monoclonal antibody of the interleukin 4 receptor alpha steering subunit that inhibits both interleukin 4 and interleukin 13. Signally, is being evaluated for the treatment of disease mediated by TH2 pathway. Dupilumab was associated with significant increase from baseline in percent of predict FEV1 and actual FEV1. Morning asthma cytoid with dupiluma there was decrease. Asthma is a chronic long-term condition that can be managed but not cured. Asthma affects the airways of your lungs. It causes the airways to narrow and swell, resulting in wheezing and difficulty breathing. During breathing or respiration, air goes in through our nose or mouth to the upper airways, at which point it reaches the windpipe which branches into two large bronchi to reach the lungs. So continue. Cons. The short study period and the definition used for exacerbation may not reflect real-world asthma exacerbation. Fewer studies are needed to confirm the exacerbation and better define the target population, those in the region, and long-term efficacy and safety. There was no clear pattern and change in blood eosinophil level with dupilumab. Future studies and dupilumab should include observation of eosinophil levels. Pros: Levels of biomarker phi, uh, phi and NO, serum immunoglobulin E, extend through and TRR. ARC decrease with the diploma confirmed the biology activity of the drug. The diploma showed substantial efficacy with regard to both objective of patient report and point even when added to inhale glucocorticoids and collapse. FEV1 improved by more than 200 ml with the diploma. 
the magnitude of breed of of efficacy that exorbe excess those in other stories of TH2 cytokine inhibitor like Librixumab and Tralokinumab. Disease inject side reaction, nasofarin heat, heat is nauseous, head edge, occur more frankly, progressive, purple rash, urticaria, edema. Can you please summarize uh, the main findings of the study? So, the Dupilumab study, which was published in the New England Journal earlier this year, showed that in patients with moderate to severe asthma who had evidence for peripheral blood eosinophilia, that treatment with a receptor antibody, uh, an antibody to the IL-4 or IL-13 receptor, actually had substantial improvements um, in their function, in exacerbations, in clinical symptoms, uh, and in, in inflammatory markers uh, following treatment with dupilumab when added on to treatment with long-acting beta agonists and steroids. There was improvement uh, initially over the four weeks period of time where the patients were on all of their background medication including high dose combination therapy and then the, the uh, activity and efficacy improved and continued to uh, persist for the remaining eight weeks of, of the trial. So as the background medication was tapered off, the efficacy continued. Thank you.